So we we had a client uh, that actually he came in and did the show, Danny Godfrey. You can go back and watch his show. And in that show, he talks about the fact that he ran half inch water line from the street to his house, got there, and I think you nothing. I think you told him like, hey, this you 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 got pressure. You don't got no volume. That's and it. he dug it up and ran one inch. Again, an inch and a half. Inch and a half. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He had to run a. He run a. He, he run, run a fat line. Half. But the in the importance of that is 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 key. And 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 the reason why that's so important is a lot of times we have people that we're like, hey, we'll handle the utilities. We'll handle this. You know, these connections. And we include some of that in the cost. But yeah. you know, everybody has a, an uncle or somebody, and they're going to DIY this <laughs> portion. Okay. Listen, listen, this is the plumber. This is not TJ's opinions. Okay, this is a good one. So is there any trends in the barnuminiums? And we'll make it plumbing related. Is there anything that you've seen happening more and more in the last 12 months, six months, something like that? Uh, Yes. I mean, bidets are a huge thing now. I mean, everybody wants one. (laughs) Yeah. Everybody wants a bidet. And that's fine. Plan ahead. (laughs) Don't wait to the end and say, you know what? I want a bidet. Right. So guess what you don't have? It's hot water. Right. Yeah, the hot water. That's a good point. You can't add it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can, but you're going to destroy a lot of things to get your little bit of hot water you want. So, I mean, if, if the, and that goes back to the very beginning. You know, when, when you're sitting down and everybody's all excited, you know, I'm building a house myself right now, and, you know, this is number 14 for me. <laughs> um, so my wife is ready to about kill me at this point. Yep. Addicted to chaos. I like it. It's fun. <laughs> but even with my own, from day one, I sat there with the plans, two or three hours. I met up with some buddies. We talked about it. Um, a good frame of mind. I had him look at them. You know, what do, what do you see? What are you thinking? What do you feel? Um, never never be afraid to reach out to people you know that truly know the business. Um, I would stay away from the, well, my, my, my brother's a framer or my brother builds stuff. That's great. They can't give you a vision of somebody else, though. I'm not saying call me (laughs) because I'm not into that. But (laughs) look at other people. I mean, you know, take some ideas from some other people. You know, maybe you see a, you know, say you see a house in a magazine. You know, Pinterest is a great thing. Oh yeah, for ideas. Oh, our salespeople get littered with pin boards. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, you know what? That but without that, you don't know what to push them or help them pick in the end. Kind of what they you know. Here's what I want. I want a white building. Okay. What kind yeah. of white building? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want it rectangular, round, square? Yeah. No. That, well, and that's the reason why we put sh- showrooms. Uh, like, you yes. Know, people need to see it. And I remember in the beginning, like we didn't have any of that, and you'd get to the selections point, and people would just be so overwhelmed, they have no idea what they want to put in there. And then, you know, we would facilitate that, and that was great, but. If, if 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 people don't have any idea what to pick, like you will never pick. It'll never yeah. it'll be never ending. Um so so for sure. But yeah, that's a good good point. If you're gonna put up a day, it'd be nice to run warm water to it. Huh? You know, in in, in <laughs> showers, you know, you, you know, my personal shower, I've got four body sprays, rain shower head, two wall showers, and a and a handheld. My wife's looking at me like, What what are you thinking? I said <laughs> I want it like a car wash when I get in there. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a Do you have a thing that that pours the soap out? <laughs> no, I hadn't yet. <laughs> you know, but she's like, I don't even know how to turn all this stuff on. I said, it's okay. I'll take care of turning it on for me. <laughs> so I mean, but those are things you got to think about in the beginning, right? You can't wait till the shower's built, right? Well, you ain't getting it now. Sorry, I mean, you just wasted five grand on a shower. Yep. Because all that's got to be in there from day three. Right. It ain't got to be day one. It ain't got to be day two. But by day three, you better have it in there because yeah. you're going to miss. It's going to get covered up. Yep. It's going to be covered up. Oh, this is a great question. So the, the question is, what are the differences between tankless and tank reservoir water heaters? And what are the benefits, disadvantages, and which one do you prefer and why? Personally, I like tankless water heaters by far. If I'm on a propane fueled system, I would have to debate it. That's more often you gonna have to fill that propane tank. Um, 
I don't the, – the problem with the tanked water heaters, that's X amount of hot water you got. Right. I don't care what you do. That's all you got. And you can put in two water heaters. But, you, you know, it's like anything else. You start making more trouble, you're going to have more problems. Mm-hmm. Now you got two water heaters to deal with all the time. But in a case you can't get gas, that's your – you know, if you have a large family, that's your only option. I mean – Tankless, probably the negative to it is if your water's harsh or hard, you're going to have to service it six months to a year, every, you know, at least twice, at least once a year. Right. And that just helps its efficiency because, you know, that's the, probably the biggest drawback. People say, well, you know, it takes a long time to get hot. No, it's got to, all that cold water that's in the line has got to come out before you get to the hot water. So... Yes, it seems like you stood there for an hour, but it really was only maybe like three or four seconds. Right. I mean, you're just waiting on the hot water, though. Uh, um, let, me, well, let me ask you this. I want to piggyback off this with a question that we get all the time, and I know where I stand on it. And uh, electric tankless water heaters. No way. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm no glad. Way. I'm glad to hear you say that because I uh, am actually, not a. I, I have a build right now that that's what they wanted. Um, the problem with an electric tankless to get to one that's to the point of that supplies any real water, you got to have like a 36 kW, which is four, I want to say it's four two pole 40 amp breakers. So that's eight breakers to supply this water heater. It's insane. That's insane. I mean, it's like go in your house and basically turn on four ovens. Yeah. Are you going to, you know, and I asked somebody one day, I said, are you going to turn on four ovens at one time and just leave them on? <laughs> yeah. That's basically what it's doing. No, you're not. So. Yeah. Well, and and if you go less than that, you're not going to have hot water. No, so, I mean, it's, yeah. it's you know, like a, I think an 18 kW is only good for like one shower and one sink. Right. So, I mean, I guess you could put three or four in the house, but. <laughs> That's not feasible either. Yeah, I, we, I just know we encounter it a lot of time because we, you know, nine times out of ten, if somebody's doing gas, it's because they're they're running propane. They're you sure. know, and so the we get asked, well, I don't want to put a propane tank in just for my water heater, and we're like, look, great, do a tank water heater. You know, I mean, there's been people doing it for years. You know, yeah, it's, it's not, nothing wrong with it. I mean, no, it's fine. going to put hot water in your home, yeah. and then we always get the question, well, what about an electric? T- I'm breaking this microphone, <laughs> but. What about an electric tankless? And we're always like, absolutely not. Don't do it because it's, yeah. it's going to be a disaster. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to the Barndo Show podcast. If you're watching on YouTube or wherever you're listening to this content, uh, hit subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And then be sure to check us out on all of our social media platforms at the Barndo Co. Super simple to find us. And then when you're ready to dive in a little more, maybe look around some of our available floor plan options or take a look at the gallery of our work. Or maybe you're ready to connect with our team and explore what it looks like to build your dream barnuminium. You can visit us online at thebarndoco.com.